It's not a great time for wireless smartphone charging. Google's new Pixel doesn't support it, the iPhone never has, and one of the highest profile Samsungs to support the feature just got recalled. But as anyone who's used it knows, if you've tasted the convenience of wireless charging, it's tough to give it up. And if you've got a Galaxy S7, a Windows phone, or you're willing to put that iPhone in a case, there's a new luxury brand of wireless charger that doesn't even need to be plugged in to top you up. I'm Michael Fisher, and this is The Ripple. If that sounds like kind of a bizarro brand name, that's because it's part of an ecosystem of accessories from a company called Pond. You've got the Ripple, the Drop, the Stream, the Pebble. The only thing that doesn't fit the aquatic theme is the Valet, but it's just pretty enough to get away with it. The Ripple is pretty too. Polished aluminum and walnut in the case of my review unit, with the company's logo engraved in the top panel. Tap twice on the little power logo and the Ripple comes alive. Drop a phone on it, and it charges via the Qi standard. I'm not going to bother selling you on why wireless charging is so cool. Like smartwatches, it's a technology you really have to use to understand the convenience. Oh, and speaking of smartwatches, the Ripple will charge some of those too, as long as they are Qi enabled, like this Moto 360. The Ripple sets itself apart from your typical wireless charging pad, like this DT903 from Microsoft, because it includes its own built-in battery. Pond's website didn't tell me the capacity, so I took the Ripple's Phillips head screws as an invitation to tour the internals. What I found was a battery labeled with a 4400 milliamp hour capacity, plenty of juice to charge your typical Android smartphone from empty to full. Uh, by the way, I don't recommend that you disassemble your Ripple, but if you do, take care not to over-tighten the screws like I did. When you drain the battery on the Ripple, it can be recharged via micro USB or by placing it face down on another Qi charging surface. It's all part of a pitch from Pond emphasizing simplicity and elegance. No cables, no hassle, just drop and pick up. But if you want to try the kind of zen-like simplicity that Pond is selling here, you need to be willing to shell out. Prices for the Ripple start at 99 bucks and go up to 149 if you want one of the more expensive finishes. Meanwhile, the Qi Stone from Phone Salesman costs $79, has nearly the same capacity, and has all of the same features. Plus, you can plug a cable in if you need to charge the old-fashioned way. That's not to say there aren't good reasons for choosing Pond. Ripple is a gorgeous piece of technology, and Valet looks stunning too. But you need to be okay with paying a lot extra just for those looks. Personally, it's too rich for my blood, but here's hoping a second coming of wireless charging brings us many more Qi-enabled devices to justify such lavish purchases. For more portable power prattling, don't miss my big battery bank blast off. And be sure to subscribe to Mr. Mobile on YouTube for more mobile tech videos just like this one. Until next time, thanks for watching. And stay mobile, my friends.